KBR's Cameron Whitaker is live at the tower with the latest on how students feel one year after the campus shooting by Colton Tooley. Cameron? Thanks, ladies. As you know, on Wednesday, it will be one year since Colton Tooley came on campus with an AK-47, only to commit suicide hours later. I went out to see how his actions affected the safety of others here on UT. 1966 and 2010, two times the university has faced an armed attacker. The most recent, of course, took many students by complete surprise. I actually didn't know what was going on. I saw a maintenance guy with a radio just kind of trying to clear people from Speedway. My grandparents in Houston called me and told me about the shooting. This time only one student's life was taken, but how lucky were we as a campus? We were very lucky last year. Uh, Colton came on campus uh, basically to kill himself. Uh, he had 30 plus rounds with him. Uh, he um, shot on the street 11 times. Uh, we could have had 30 people down before the first 911 call came in if he wanted to kill people, but he didn't. Although Tooley was found dead a short time after police arrived on campus, students have varying opinions on their safety considering the size of UT. Just the, the volume of traffic that uh, the university and the campus sees daily, I do feel safe um, considering there are 50,000 people. I'm just worried about our safety on campus. I mean, if that was, if it was possible for someone to go into the library with a gun, how easy could that happen again? With campus attacks becoming more common, officials are urging students to take action to protect themselves. If, if we happen to be in this room right now and somebody comes in, I'm picking a chair up, I'm picking a, uh, this the map up, that camera, I'm throwing them at him, and you and I are going to try and take him out. We may get hurt, but we're not going to sit there and you know get slaughtered uh, in, a, in a way that uh, doesn't give us a fighting chance. Kind of and there you have Mr. Harkins really stressing preventative measures in case of another attack. For more information on campus safety, you can check out our Twitter at twitter.com slash KBR News for the link to the campus safety website. Reporting live at the Tower, Cameron Whitaker, KBR News.